Don't you just hate it when you remove a background in Photoshop and you are left with that horrible green outline on the edges? You can see it a little bit on the hair right here. We have it on this side as well. And you can also have it on other areas such as the clothing or the arm and other areas. Now, the quickest and easiest way to fix this is to get yourself a new layer above your image. You want to hold Alt and clip this onto your image and set this to color. Now from here, what we can do is we can zoom in to this area. And by using the brush tool, we can hold Alt and sample ourselves a shade of this hair color right here. So ideally what you want to do is you want to get yourself the closest match of what this area would look like and then just paint it onto here. Now, as you can see this one now, change the color, it will remove the green. And if your brush is a little bit too aggressive, you can always control how much it applies by lowering the opacity. If you set it to something like, let's say 43, this will just soften it up and it will gradually introduce that color. And this is honestly perfect for blending colors and if you want to make it look realistic. Now you do also need to make sure that you are updating your color as you're going along because every area of this hair has a different shade of that color. So if you use the wrong color or the wrong shade, you will definitely notice the difference. We have a little bit of redness here. This one is a little bit more faded. And you just want to continue going all the way around this image right here. And as you can see, the green is starting to disappear. Now, another problem that you want to avoid is if you copy a shade that is way too dark, for example, this one right here, what it will do is it will just turn it into black and white. So you want to try and avoid really dark shades of that color and only focus on the bright colors that are closest to that area. And as you can see, as we are going down, it is definitely starting to look a lot better now. It can also make some of those really fine little hairs more visible and give you back that detail that you're missing. Now, as you can see, sometimes you may also have certain problems like this one, for example, where the hair is way too faded right here. And we also have part of the shoulder that is faded right here. So to fix this one, it is really simple and really easy to do because all you need to do is just hold Alt, left click on your mask. And this will give you a preview of a black and white preview. And then from here, if you set your brush to an overlay, you can lower the opacity and while selecting a white color, you can apply it onto here and this will only affect the white area. No matter if you go outside of the selection, it won't apply the changes. So as you can see, if we go too far out, it will only apply it onto the white area. And if we have a look at this now, you can see it's definitely starting to look more solid and it's definitely looking better. We can also gradually introduce this part of the hair as well. Just soften it up a little bit and bring this one back. Same goes for other areas as well. And this will fix it up. Now you may also have other areas, for example, this area down here where you still have some of that green tint or that green outline. And to remove this, it's really simple. You go to filter, go down to other, and get yourself a minimum. In here, you can set the radius to your personal preference. The higher the number, the more aggressive it's going to be. And you can also change the mode to squareness or roundness. This will be completely up to you. The squareness will focus on the small details and the roundness is more for longer curves and it will just smoothen it down. So then you can press OK. And there we go. As you can see, it's definitely looking a lot better now compared to before. Now, the second way to do this is to select your subject rather than removing the background. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the brush tool, go to select and mask. And in here, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will have this option called the contaminate colors. So as you can see right now, we have this visible green color that is really noticeable, especially on a black background. So if you left click on here, this will automatically fill this in and colorize it 
with the correct color. Once again, you will also run into this problem right here. And the same as last time, you will have options available for the edge enhancement. Now for this one, we have the option for the radius. You can increase this. And if you want to preview exactly how much is applying, you can enable the show edges only. This will show you exactly how much you are applying and how much thickness you want it to apply. So for us, we only want like one pixel. We can then start to bring this back. We can apply a little bit of a feather, some contrast. This one will sharpen it up if you go too far out and shift edge, which is responsible for going further in or further out. So we want to go to around, let's say here, we can smoothen it out a little bit. This will smoothen out those rough edges, as you can see. And there we go. This is definitely looking a lot better now compared to before. The only downside to this is that it cannot fix areas like here, for example, because this area will need a manual edit with the polygonal lasso tool. So you'll just need to subtract it from here, get rid of this area, and then connect it up. And there we go. Now, one final problem that can happen with doing both the edge enhancement and also fixing the hair is that if you do them at the same time is it will distort the hair. So as you can see, it's destroyed the hair completely. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to do this completely separate. If you're going to enhance the edges, you will need a separate layer with your body and then one with the hair only. And then you combine them together into one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you set this to a new layer with layer mask, you can press OK. And there we go. 